What's up everybody, this is Easy, Easy Street Gaming, bringing you a Brutal Age video. This is on my favorite event, the Partner Arena. You're going to have a lot of mixed reviews with the Partner Arena. A lot of your experienced players are going to tell you to avoid it. Hopefully, I can give you a few tips and, and help you get through it. First of all, there is luck. There's going to be a little bit of luck involved with the Partner Arena, so just know that. It's best to play it with the whole server. Let's try to get everyone involved. Never just look at the two teams and think you know who's going to win by who is, who, who's on each team. You have to look at the stats in each team. Don't take them for at face value. Learn what partners have the zero, zero awakened stars, the red stars. Learn which ones don't have any. That's going to help you a lot. Also, start looking for the patterns in the teams. You'll see that Brutal Age will start putting similar teams out there. Look for the team patterns. Look at the history. It will show you who's won in the, in the past. And last thing, bet max and buy entire pages. Some rules to keep in mind before every single battle. Check for elite partners. I just had them right there, but you can't see them anymore. Check out their, their war patterns. See if they have max war patterns, especially in the top three. The, the hands and the head. Uh, look at their skill levels. Look at their leader skills. See, see what the leader skills have. Uh, see if they have any unique skills. If they have partners with any unique skills. And look at their awakened levels. Uh, more importantly, look to see if they have no red stars, because it's a huge hint at that fourth partner. If they have no red stars at all, there's only going to be a few different partners that it could be. Now remember this too, first team to attack has a huge advantage, it's just like, just like ranked matches. So if you can figure out who's going to attack first, you'll have a big advantage. Uh, the war patterns are much more impactful on the, on the battle than the restraint system. Now there, there are times where the restraint system will affect the rotation. In other words, uh, you know that they only have one green partner and your team, one team has four red. So you know that they will all be attacking the green partner. So it doesn't matter how tough that green partner is, it's going to get attacked four times in a row. So you have to keep things like that in mind. Here are some partner combos that I try not to bet against, at least not often. If you see the green prophet and the green desert prince together, they are going to be trouble for you. If you see green tusk and the green boar together, you won't see it very often, but they are really hard to beat. So either bet for, with them or stay away from it altogether. <laughs> there are going to be some bets you want to stay away from. Uh, partner combos that I don't bet against often. If you see two or more blue bape, blue cha cha, red ursa, red or green desert prince, or green catfish fighter, bet on them or skip that round they are too hard to bet against they are all elite partners that can alter the course of the entire battle if you see little red ghost and he has any of the retaliation partners with him whether it be the red nomad or any of the newer ones like uh, the third awakened boar or sharky or the fencer and along with one of the retaliation they have a shielder or a healer Watch out for those combos. That's another really dangerous combination. And keep in mind, those are just some examples off the top of my head. There's a lot more. So let's break down. We're going to break down this this battle right here. We'll look at the left side. We'll look at the right side. I'll kind of run through my, my, my list of everything that I'm going to try to look at. And these are, you know, you may have different lists, but this one you want to try to get in the habit of. First, we'll look at the left team first. You're looking at the Gardevoir's page here. I don't know if you got to see her ahead of time, but she's all the way on the far left. That means she's the leader. Remember, I, the, the the partner that's on the far left on the list is the leader. So she has a 33% attack, uh, max skills, max war pattern. The WP means war pattern. So she's she's going to be a tough one. If you you can already see on the right hand side that the the leader is the unknown, and that's always a hard one. That's always going to be hard to to figure out if it's a safe bet or not if you don't know what the leader is, who the leader is uh, partner number two looks like the drum beater and if you look up top at the hands and the head the max war patterns now they may not be max it may be level 12 
but you will be amazed at how high their, their hit points and how high their attack is. If you see purple war patterns, just consider them maxed. The final visible partner on the left hand side will be Valor Tusk. Tusk is a, a new elite partner, newer elite. Skills, I've got a minus next to the skills, minus next to the war pattern, so they're not maxed on either one. It looks like he's got level 1 skills all the way across, but he does have the, the Chief's Blessing, which is an elite skill, and that is actually probably more important than the level of his skills, because that one attack heals, I think, 40% of, of the entire team's health, and then gives the team a couple of different buffs, and may debuff the enemy. I'd tell you what it meant, or what it did, but I can't read a damn thing on it, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, you, remember, always look for your elite partners, and if they have a if they have an elite partner, study up on their skills. If you don't know what they are right offhand, uh, go back to the uh, Brudex, Codex, Brudex, whatever it's called. It shows every partner, it shows every skill. Read up on it and see exactly what's going on. Moving on to the right side. The right, the right side, all the way on the left, there's an empty slot. That means their leader is the unknown. So that means the leader skill is unknown. Their first partner will then be in the second slot, which is the Blue Nomad King. He's got... Looks like he's got max skills and max war patterns. So that's going to be pretty tough. Second is the Green Catfish Fighter. Uh, and... Again, now when I say maxed war patterns, I'm only looking at the top three. Uh, those are the big, those are the big war patterns that the game seems to load up on. So, max war patterns, skills maxed out, and he's got the elite skill of that the shield. So that's another really big benefit. And then you have another shielder with the second uh, drum beater in, in the match, and it looks like he's got. The owl, which remember, whenever you see owl, whenever you see, um, whenever you see any of the war patterns that that are shared amongst the whole team, you have to kind of take a mental note of that. So far, I think there's three. There's there's whale, is that's health amongst the whole uh, team. There's the owl, which is resistance, and there is what is it, lion, which is attack. So those are your whole team war patterns. So now, after we've, we've kind of reviewed the left side, reviewed the, the right side, now what we have to do is make an educated guess as to who's going to win. You want to start off, and, and it's really important, you, you want to figure out, okay, who's going to get the first attack? <clears throat> and in doing so, who is he going to attack? This will, you know, there is going to be a mystery involved. Both teams have a big question mark. But let's just say, for example, you have one team that has one green and three red and the other team has three blue and one red and you know that the blue team is going to go first while well, you know that the blues are all going to attack the red so you kind of have a good idea at times who's going to attack first and who they are going to attack it doesn't happen all the time it's just going to be one of those things that it's going to come with with experience it seems like a lot of guesswork at first but after you played for a little while i'd say three or four um three or four events you'll start seeing the patterns you'll start seeing who you can watch a lot of replays too i can't stress that enough it's funny how people expect to get better but they're not they don't watch the replays and they don't see what the computer's even doing they just see the, the end result and a lot of it seems like a mystery to them if you watch watch the matches and you'll see why certain partners are doing certain things that that's a that's a really important thing that a lot of people skip over yeah, I mean, everyone's in a hurry to do everything. But if you watch the replays, you'll see who's doing what, and it's pretty important. Also, if you notice, you see the 500,000, that's 500,000 ivory that you have to bet here. Uh, you can also bet 500,000 stone, 500,000 wood. Those three are betting material. So whenever I win those, you can buy those in the next couple of pages as well. Uh, once you win, you, you'll you'll see the pages that we that we get to choose from, uh, and buy it and don't spend it because you're gonna need it for betting materials later on in the next event. So the standard, it's called the Nomad standard. Blue Nomad is gonna be plentiful in a lot of these matches. You're gonna see him all over the place. 
He's an extremely strong partner, but he can be beaten by the stun teams with with the Sire War Pattern. You'll see that a lot on the Green Prince, the the Blue Black Shaman, uh, the Red Thera, Red God of Earth. Also, watch out for uh, watch out for Valor Tusk and watch out for the Green Scarecrow. Uh, those are two more partners that can really really hurt the Blue Nomads a lot. Now, normally, if you have two or three Nomads that you're up against. When you have three of them going one after another, they can really pound down on a team. So you, you have to consider them a lot as well. Now, sp spending your winnings, it's very important to spend with a purpose. If not, then you're going to refresh, refresh, refresh. After 10 refreshes, you will be at 10. 10 you'll spend 10 of these shells every time you refresh. Don't let the cat win all your, all your shells. Buy everything on every page. That's what I've done. You end up getting back a lot of what you spend on the bet. So that's probably my best advice as far as the spending side. Buy the entire page when you win. Okay, after one win, I had bet 150 speed. I won 450. I'd already, I've, I've already, at this point in the video, I've, or in this recording, I've already spent a bunch on um, whatever, a few pages. A lot of your experienced players will say do not bet in the partner arena and if you do do not bet speed ups you need them what I'm saying is if you buy the whole page you're gonna get a lot of speed ups back now I, I did not count in uh, for this recording and, and see how many speed ups I actually got back in this example um, but I know you'll hear from the experienced players back off don't play the partner arena don't bet speed it's not worth it the price is too high to play you never you, you lose your bet no matter what but wait there is benefit if you are smart if you involve the entire server if you ask everybody about every single one of your bets do I use it as a team game I know that um, there's so few big players playing because there's this uh, th th there's a negative uh, I don't know a negative rumors or, or negative feel for, for the partner arena most of your big players aren't playing it so you have a lot of your uh, mid-grade players or mid power players to say um, being able to get up in the top three and, and there's a lot of benefits in the top three as well so remember this too if you're betting 150 hours and you lose the bet that really hurts and it's gonna hurt for a long time um, remember what you're gonna bet all the bets are the same. You're gonna bet all these different kinds of speed. A lot of a lot of the speed bets are going to be on building. And if you don't have any building bets, I mean building speed ups, one hours, then you're not gonna be able to bet. If you don't have any five hundred thousand meat, not meat, but um, ivory, wood, stone, five hundred thousand is what you have to bet. So I don't spend any of that during the week. During the week I don't spend one hour speed ups. I'll spend the fifteen minutes, I spend the one minutes, I don't spend one hour speed ups because I use them in the partner arena. Now the partner arena, what has it done for me? It has literally funded everything that I do during the week because I'll usually get between 20 and 50 million of every resource. Believe it or not, the resources that we get are just amazing. And I'm usually in the top three because we have one other really good player in my server that, that's almost always in the top three or beats me most of the time. And speaking of players that are better than me, if you think you are great at the Partner Arena, then join me next week. I believe I'll be going live. There will be a live feed on YouTube during the Partner Arena. Not don't know when though. But if you're a subscriber, I'll let everyone know sometime during the week. <coughs> Here's a little recap. Everything you need to know in about one minute. Number one, you do not get the bet back. If you win so don't lose because you're already going to spend what you're betting no matter what number two if you study each team you can find a weakness sometimes sometimes they really try not to make every one of them an upset and they try to make it fair number three there are patterns in all the teams look at the war patterns before and after the match after the match it will show you that the hit point and the attack stats I'll kind of shock you to see how many hit points the, some of these partners have Number four, watch the replays. It will show you how the elite partners can manhandle Blue Nomad Kings and how the Blue Nomads crush all but the elite partners. And remember, stun teams beat the Nomad teams. They do beat the Nomad teams. Number five, team up on your server. 
play your server versus all the other servers. Ask everyone who they would pick. Try to get some camaraderie going. When you win, buy the entire page. Don't skip anything, or else the refresh will suck up all your winnings. And last thing, if you have a gambling problem, watch out. It'll trigger you. Like it does me. I stay up all night sometimes. In case you've missed the little announcement earlier in the video, next week I will be going live during the Partner Arena. Visit, visit me on YouTube live during the Partner Arena. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this doesn't hurt you. Hope it helps more than hurts. Really, I do. <laughs> Appreciate everyone for watching. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.